Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome back to another edition, edition number 42. Of 42? 42 <laughs> of the Beth Lee McCain radio show. I'm yep. Lee McCain. I'm Beth McCain. And together we talk about the wonderful law of attraction, of which so many of you have come in tune with here, yes. it seems, in the last couple of years. So wonderful, We're so it? proud of you. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It is. It really is. And uh, we had a wonderful little Law of Attraction day today, didn't we? We sure did. Took Peanut to the movies and saw Nim's Island. That was so much fun. Oh, that was such a fun movie. It really was. Wasn't it pretty? Yeah. that's You know what? That's what I really liked about it. It was like... It had that feel of an old Disney film, you know, with Kurt Russell. And Jodie Foster. Yeah, exactly. And this it's one like... had Jodie Foster in it. <laughs> and it was just it was just a great family film to watch. Yeah, I, I, well, I, and I'd watch Jodie Foster read the phone book. And I even cried. Okay. You did too. All right. Don't even. Quiet down, you. <laughs> well, you know, whenever you see children in distress, you just kind of get... And the little animals and everything. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. It so. was fun. So if you want to have a good time with your family or just by yourself, go see Nim's Island. Yeah, do. There you go. <laughs> and a shameless plug for Disney there. <laughs> there you go. Well, the magazine is out, gone, being delivered on the trucks. Beautiful. Uh, it, it came out wonderful. Out so Thank you, everybody who had a hand in it. You mm -hmm. all know who you are. And we really, really appreciate you. We sure do. And sure um, do. Um, it's starting to get to the stores and stuff now. Just, you know, things, so, so by the 15th, everybody should be able to get it anywhere that, yeah. at our, all our usual places. Mm -hmm. So, And, of course, you can always subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we love the subscribers. Is that another shameless plug? Oh, shameless. <laughs> shameless and shameful. <laughs> okay. And, um, okay, so we're just going to say this, and then we're going to let leave it to you. Mm -hmm. But there are some big 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 changes on the website and you're gonna see them and they will be posted uh, no later than Sunday mm -hmm. uh, but I think they're gonna try to get it up earlier than that so you might want to check back and believe me if you've ever been to our website before when you go to it you'll know the difference <laughs> when yeah. you land on the front page you'll know that it's changed well and it's but it's just to go get ahead a clue, about the content it's, um, it's a little more personal about Lee and I and about the Law of Attraction. You know, Beth and I are fully through and through Law of Attraction folk. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. We sure do. But um, there's something that you don't know. <laughs> so you're going to find it out on the website. The time has come. And... It's good. It's a wonderful it's very thing. Good. But, you know, don't tell them that because we want to tease them. Oh, I see. We want them to just have to go there and see. <laughs> but it, it's, it's seriously, all serious, it's quite quite a big change. And, and it's one that was a long time coming, mm -hmm. and we're really very proud of it. And, it's, you know, it was re um, let's gosh, just put it this way. Gosh darn the torpedoes it's, and full speed ahead. Yeah, it, it was time for what's going to come up. Yep, so. so you'll see it. All right, well, let's a uh, answer some, some questions, sir, from some of these Let's do it. Excellent questions. This one comes all the way from Florida. It's from Sophie. Okay. In Florida. All and right. Sophie writes, after watching The Secret, I was all excited about practicing the law of attraction. Now it's just frustrating. I feel like I'm always thinking about every thought and always catching myself when I have a negative thought, which makes me beat myself up over having such a hard time doing this. It seems so easy and now it just seems hard. What can I do to get myself out of this vicious cycle of negative thinking? Sophie, thank you for that question, because that's a brave question. It is. And you know, a lot of people experience it in the beginning. Hi, Sophie. The law of attraction is such a wonderful thing until you find out that it really is simple, but that it takes work on yourself to apply it. This is common for many people. It isn't necessarily to catch every thought you have. If that was the case, we would all go bonkers. Our mind is so full of chatter at all times that we couldn't possibly catch every thought and put it into feeling. The important thing here is to work from the inside out. Our physical is a vessel that is being directed by the inner you. Take the inner you and learn how to use it and bingo, you will have your desires. So how do you get to the inner you? This is where the work comes in. We are made up of ancestral, society, and environmental mental patterns. We are also made up of our own perceptions. By changing your perception and by deconstructing your current and past mental patterns into the perceptions of the life you want, you can attain it all. It isn't just about thoughts and it isn't just about feelings. It is about changing your perception of the world through your inner you. Don't be concerned about every thought. Be more concerned about how you are feeling on a daily basis. Find joy in your day. Thank the universe for everything around you and mean it. 
There's nothing worse than fake gratitude. Boy, in that for sure. It's true. <laughs> Whatever you are feeling is what moves the universe to bring you situations and people of the same feeling. When you add a thought of desire to that and you keep it in a joyous space, it will come to you. Wouldn't you say, Lee? Absolutely. You know, and the thing is, that's one of those questions. That there's a, there's a whole book. Yeah, in it that, is. In that question, and that's just in a nutshell. So, sure. Well, you know, I, I look at it this way. If anybody, and we've seen this over the years, if anybody seems to ever hit a wall in the mm -hmm. law of attraction, it's usually the subject that Sophie wrote us about. That little cycle mm -hmm. that keeps seem to be yeah. going on. So, you know, Sophie, if that doesn't explain it for you, please send us a personal email, and we will get back to you Absolutely. on that. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I got one for you. Okay. All right, this is from Jewel in West Virginia. I am riddled with guilt. Some time ago, I made some wrong choices that hurt other people, and I can't seem to get past it. Can I still practice the law of attraction with all this guilt? Boy, that's a good one. It is a good one. And Jewel, before I really answer the question in, a, in the detailed law of attraction way here, the fact that you have the guilt shows that you're a good person and the fact that you're you know wondering about how you might have hurt somebody in the and you, you know you you can't get past it well you can get past it you can and even those who were hurt by you would would like you to get past it believe it or not and so basically you're already practicing the law of attraction the, the right way and whether you have the guilt or not the universe still brings to you what you're thinking and feeling so each and every time one of us makes choices that when we look back we think we could have done better Remember that you're always on the right path, no matter what choice you make, because there are no mistakes. That's hard to hard to believe, it but it is the truth. There are no mistakes. There's just the past experiences. And with the past experience, you want to observe and learn from that past experience. And then, you know, keep in the back of your mind what you would have liked to change and then move on from it, because the guilt is just going to what's it going to do? Bring you more Bring guilt. You more guilt. And so that's helping no one. And when I alluded earlier to, to the people that you feel you might have hurt, see, it doesn't help them. You know, so, um, you know, do you think it might be helping the person? No, it's not. So all you're doing is succeeding in punishing yourself. And even though now you see that you've hurt others, you are just punishing yourself and that's not accomplishing anything. Okay, so leave your guilt behind, move forward. You've learned what you did was hurtful. You've acknowledged it. Mm -hmm, you have. Okay, it won't happen again. So even if the people you hurt can't leave it in the past, you can because you know that each moment is a new moment to create. That's one of the other beautiful universal gifts mm -hmm. through the law of attraction. We don't live in the past. That's right. You, live you know. In the now. And and so you can create a whole new you each moment. Release the guilt. It's time for that. Release the guilt. And if there's still a situation from the people you have hurt, see it healed. Focus on the healing, not on the guilt. The healing is the positive. It's, the guilt is the negative. It's just like when you have a problem. When you focus on the problem, more problems come. But when you focus on the solution and don't worry about how it gets to that, then it comes as well. And well, so with the healing, yeah. you focus on the healing, not the guilt. And you focus on that healing that is going to come to you. That situation will be healed, whether it brings those people back into your life and it heals or mm -hmm. it just heals within yourself. You also have to realize that if someone else is not willing to let go of the fact that you have hurt them, that is their world to create. You are ready to let go of the guilt. You are ready for things to be healed. And if someone in your life is one of the people that you've hurt and they're not ready for it, it does not mean that you cannot move on. It means you can move on. And we're going to move on right now. Okay. Because the clock on the wall says adios. Okay. And so is Bill over there. <laughs> Talk to you guys next Bye. week. Bye. Bye.